much speculation to this point about who is going to be running for mayor leading up to the nominations opening in April and ultimately the by-election that takes place at the end of June. One of the people who said she was strongly considering the position is Anna Bailau, former councillor and uh, the person, deputy mayor, I guess I could say at this point, and, uh, and holding the housing file as well. You're making it official. Why? Because I love the city. I'm very thankful that my parents brought us here uh, and that I can continue to call Toronto home today. Um, and when I came, I was about 15, so I already you know, got a sense of things around me. And what really struck me was the sense of opportunity that I felt, of safety, of that I was in a city that worked. And we're not feeling that today. We're not feeling that services are working for us. So we need to fix the services and we need to make life more affordable for Toronto is, and that's why I'm running. Some would possibly say as a councillor having served during this time leading up to this point where things aren't working that perhaps you should take some responsibility for that. How do you do so? Uh, I take responsibility for the work that I've done in my community. I'm proud of that. I've take, I take responsibility for bringing the city back into the housing business. You know, everybody talks about housing, even lots of politicians talking about housing. You couldn't get many politicians to take action and to talk about housing 12 years ago when I started uh, working on this issue. But I'm the first to say that we need to do more. You're kicking this campaign off with the notion that the province should take control and responsibility for what the city does now with our highways, the DVP Which were their highways. and the Gardner. They were, they were Let's highways. talk about that. Obviously, yeah. that's been brought up before. Yeah. It's been discussed before. The province has clearly said, no, we don't want those responsibilities. That's for the city to take care of. How do you go about convincing them? Well, I, I'm running on it. I'll have a mandate. I'll have, you know, the people of Toronto will elect me by saying we need a fair deal for our city, you know, and, and Again, credit where credit is due. The province has been coming with a check to fill our budget hole that is caused by a decreased $500 million of that budget deficit is because of the, the, the decrease in ridership. We're not gonna you know, deal with that issue if we keep reducing services. I'm gonna ask you about relationships with the province, with the federal government. You've had opportunity to be in those discussions before, but also with the councillors. You've worked a lot with them as I well. Do. Let's talk about both. I have a firm and fair approach. That's what people tell me. I think that this this argument that I'm putting forward is, is very fair. It's a, it's a solution. We can't go on and having the province and the feds coming in every year and filling the, the, you know, the budget with their checks. We need to solve the issues. And that's the approach that I take at everything. With my colleagues, I've, I've done the same thing. I've worked very well with colleagues from, you know, uh, people put, love to put labels so, you know, from the left and the center and the right and uh, to get things done because I'm in this to get things done. I'm very passionate about my values and what I believe and I'm very passionate about the city and I'm very passionate about delivering better services and more affordability for Toronto and so I'm ready to fight for that and to fight for the residents of Toronto. And a bylaw kickstarting it early, a couple weeks in advance of April 3rd, which is the opportunity for everybody to register for the first time before the by-election at the end of June. Thanks for doing this. Thank you.